Hello guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Talent Tutorials. In this video, I am going to explain about how we need to send a, uh, like context files or uh, some variable parameters from the parent job to the child job. We have already seen about how we need to send the uh, like how we need to send the variables to the like uh, how we need to assign the values to the context variables uh, from child job to the parent job. But we haven't seen about how we need to do the vice versa. So we can do like we can transfer the variables from like we can use the variables from the child job uh, in the parent job by using uh, by just clicking the checkbox known as transmit whole context but in the case of transferring the from parent job to the child job we need to follow few more steps to transfer the step of variables so i am going to explain that in this video so for this what i am doing is i have already created one one folder here so this is the folder talent hyphen videos and inside that I have created a, a file named as file and in, inside that just for illustration purpose I have created what I did was so for id I have created a one uh, id as a number I have created one column and name as a string and percentage as a number so this uh, we, I just created only the three records here and what I am doing here is in the talent studio I am first of all creating the file list and then t java row or yeah, t java better t java and inside the t java t file list what i am doing is i am redirecting to the folder where i have that particular file uh, like file yeah, this is the folder i want i am clicking this where i have uh, that file txt file so I am clicking here and the file mask is I am just because we have only one file there and I am clicking as star and I am connecting it with the main uh, sorry iterate to t java and inside the t java what I am going to do is I am going to create one file here or one thing I can do I am doing here input file path as a string and input file and for the input file path what i am doing here is i am just copying this and placing this in the context file default and for input file i am not mentioning anything but here i am changing a little bit context dot input file path so it will automatically take the uh, that particular file path what you mentioned in the default uh, here and it will take the uh, t file in the t java what i am doing is the context dot like uh, input file context dot input input file equals to like uh, input file in the sense the file name so we need to uh, whatever the file name that it returns from the t file list i am gonna assign it to the context variable here we have a t java where uh, t file list variable so here we have one of the component variable name as current file name i am using that to, uh, to assign the file name here and i am ending up with a semicolon i am saving it and now we have a input file path as well as the file name here now what i am doing is with the, using that particular file name i am gonna retrieve like uh, i am gonna print here in the other sub job so what i am doing here is t file input delimited yeah and i am connecting t file list with uh, a t file list to t file input delimited with on sub job okay and here the file path you need what you need to do is context dot input file path plus context dot input file so till now we, uh, till here we get the what are the file path that we have and in the context dot input file we will be getting what is the exact file name that we have and one thing you need to be specify is uh, you need to specify the schema of the particular thing so the schema is just after we have three columns one is id as a number sorry integer and next one is name as a string and then percentage as a integer yeah that's it this is the schema and just I am printing 
and here I am illustrating just for the purpose of uh, uh, knowing you how to transfer the variable values from parent job to the child job that's why I'm not doing any much aggregations or not, not doing any much processing over there so this is done this is job so I am running this first so let us see whether uh, we will be getting all the data or not so first of all uh, from the t file list t java will get executed oh why we got t file ok the file path is little bit different so it is talent hyphen videos but we have mentioned on the thing yeah now if you run so uh, this is what i mentioned from the t file list we have only one file inside that so it will go to the t java and it will assign the file name so here in the t file input delimited what we mention is from the like uh, we mention as context.input file path plus context.input file so these two variables are present in the input file like uh, these two variables are present in the context variables and it printed in the run parameters now what i am doing is i am creating a one more job here in detail standard what i am doing is uh, i am creating the uh, standard job as parent parent job and inside that what I am doing is what are the thing that we have t file list the same context files I am inserting here input file path <coughs> input file path as well as input file the input file path is same as this thing what are the file path that we have yeah here it is same and input file is same so we no need to specify anything in t java i am connecting it with uh, turret you need to configure this thing so just we need to remove this and context just in, these two components are just same as the previous job sample and context dot input file path and file mask is star because we have only one file inside that start saving that and now what you need to do is go to this again context.input sorry context.input file is equals to again go to t file list and take the file name now what you have is you have all the things what you need saving it now after this immediately you can write t file input delimited or instead of doing that you can use t sample job here i am closing this you can use t sample job and you can connect it to our on component ok so once this gets completed this t sample row needs to get executed but if this is the case what you need to do is go to the t java and component you need to do few modifications here one is you need to click the transmit whole context and here go to the uh, context parameters here click two values and here inside the one value it is input file path and another value it is input file so you need to change the values of these two for the input file path what is the value that you need to give the value that you need to give is what is the value in the parent job that you want to send so i want to send context dot input file path so context dot input file path is nothing but the context uh, like uh, the value of input file path from the parent job and this input file path is nothing but the uh, small job so it will send these values from parent to the child similarly input file so these are the two variables that you need to do and the transmit all context you need to click this so this is done but you need to do small modifications in the sample job as well what you need to do is as we already have these things so just to illustrate i am removing this and deactivating the whole uh, this sub job so if this is the case so only this thing that means only t file input path as plus t context dot uh, input file path if you execute only this job alone now it won't execute and i am removing this value as well 
so if you run the sample job alone it will throw an error because we haven't we didn't have the values for input file path and input file but uh, what we did was we have something uh, like we have connected parent job and we have configured the what are the context variables that we have in the sample in the parent job now you can't turn you don't need to specify any variables inside the uh, sample uh, like uh, child job but you can specify here and in the component what we have in the t, t run job now if you run this in the output you will be getting what are the output that you are expecting in the sample job you will be getting here so if you run this so what are the output that you have seen previously you can see here as well so this is how you can uh, send the uh, variables like uh, variable values from parent job to the child job from child to parent it is very easy like you can uh, just click uh, transmit whole context and you can use the same variables but from the parent to child you need to mention that context parameters very importantly and you need to map very carefully so if you see the output the same uh, the same output it is showing it is showing some error oh i think uh, we need to exclude this output in the t sample job it is getting why because we haven't in like we didn't uh, kept header as one value like because we have a in the input file we have a header value so we need to exclude that once we click that uh, we don't get this particular error but for now yes we are good we are getting the whatever the data that we are expected here and this is how you need to send the data from parent job to the child job via the context parameters from the parent job and the, this is the configuration that you need to modify in the t while using the t child jobs one is transmit whole context and another one is uh, this couple of context parameters what are the context parameters that you want to send from parent to child you need to uh, write it here so this is how you need to uh, send the file, uh, variable values from parent to child so thank you for watching guys